in the present video on current electricity part 6 we will be discussing meter bridge its principle construction and the practical applications to which we put this bridge remember we have already studied what is a Wheatstone bridge meter bridge is a practical form of the Wheatstone bridge it's a device used to measure or compare small resistances fairly accurately it's a very accurate method its working is based on principle of Wheatstone bridge because as we said earlier it's a practical form of the Wheatstone bridge and we know for a Wheatstone bridge for a balanced bridge the products of resistances in opposite arms of the bridge are equal that is mathematically we can write P over Q equal to R over S this is balance condition in uh, Wheatstone bridge and also forms the principle of meter bridge comparing the two that is Wheatstone bridge and meter bridge let's draw a parallel between the two this is a Wheatstone bridge you have studied earlier the arms are P Q R S these are four resistances and we have P over Q equal to R over S when the galvanometer doesn't draw any current here P is replaced by R these are the two points this is you can see these are two points in between we have a resistance R on this side we have resistance X and then these two arms that is R and S are the resistance of wire AJ and resistance of wire JB so we have the same principle P over Q equal to R over S or P over Q equal to resistance of AJ over resistance of JB construction of the bridge it consists of a wooden board which is not shown in the uh, diagram a wooden board on the wooden board we fix three thick brass or copper strips these are brass or copper strips thick so that they, the resistance offered by the strips is negligible and we have a one meter long wire AB it is made of constant or Eureka or manganese these are alloys which we normally use these are this wire is stretched between a and B length 1 meter and uniform suitable area of cross-section the wire of uniform area of cross-section AB thick copper or brass strips there are three strips here we have a gap left gap and right gap for two arms of the bridge as you will see this is thick copper or brass strip now why do we use constant or manganese or eureka we have studied in uh, earlier part of current electricity that these alloys have low temperature coefficient of resistance that is their resistance does not vary appreciably with temperature so we make use of these uh, wire, wires because on passing current there is always some variation in temperature rise in temperature the resistances should not be affected otherwise that will introduce an error now why uniform area of cross-section the uniform area of cross-section is essential so that the length of the wire and its resistance the electrical resistance and length they are proportional to each other which is possible only if the area of cross-section is uniform now why thick strips thick strips ensure that the resistance offered by the strips is negligible because 
<coughs> we don't take the resistance of the strips into consideration. The second diagram across the wire AB and AB we connect a current source which is generally a cell or a low voltage battery and we use a key also in the circuit to switch on and switch off the current. Unknown resistance X in the right arm you can also put it in left arm no, no problem and a resistance box R. The resistance box contains standard resistances and any desired res resistance can be introduced here. Now we need a galvanometer so we connect a galvanometer between a point J when we call it jockey, jockey and the uh, joining point of the resistances R and X. This you can once again compare with v strong which and uh, you will appreciate why it is connected here. And in v strong Bridge we connected a key here, we are not connecting any key. Basically J <coughs> is a moving contact. We can pick it up and move, keep it anywhere between uh, A points A and B. So this automatically acts as a switch. The length of AJ, suppose it is L centimeter, then length of JB will be 100 minus L centimeter because AB is 1 meter long wire. We adjust the jockey, position of jockey J, so that there is balance in the Wheatstone bridge, there is no current passes through the galvanometer. Because when you, as you shift J, the resistance on left hand side of J and right hand side of J will change and the galvanometer deflection will be zero once R over X is equal to the ratio of resistances of AJ and JB. In the diagram we have R over X equal to resistance of AJ over resistance of JB. Or here what we have written is resistance of length L centimeter over resistance of L 100 minus L centimeter. Now we know resistance is rho L by A. Rho L by A. So rho and A are constants because in numerator and denominator they will cancel out. You will get L over 100 minus L. This is because resistance is proportional to length. So using the relation you get the unknown resistance x is equal to r into 100 minus l over l. r is standard resistance we know how much resistance we introduce from the resistance box. l we have already measured experimentally we, we have a in fact we have a scale fixed parallel to ab one meter long scale fixed parallel to ab and we can read the position of j on the scale to get the uh, value of L and then 100 minus L can be calculated. But this is the principle of the uh, meter bridge. Now we will study the practical applications of the bridge. It is used to determine value of a given small resistance. The unknown resistance is connected in the right gap x the standard resistance box in r as we explained earlier method is same we have to give get balance of the bridge and we use this relation x is equal to r in 200 minus l over l the terms on right hand side are known to us so we can get the value of unknown resistance x another practical application of the bridge to compare the values of two given small resistances. Let's call them x1 and x2. Circuit is same. Read x as x1 here. We use one of the two resistances first and calculate x1. That is we find the position of the null point here. You will get x is equal to r into 100 minus l1. 
for x1 resistance let's take the balancing length as l1 100 minus l1 over l1 then replace x1 by x2 and get the equation x2 is equal to r 100 minus l2 over l2 divide the equations to get the ratio x1 over x2 you have the expression uh, on the screen you simply have to use this relation for x1 x2 using lengths l1 and l2 and take the ratio pretty simple another application is to verify the laws of combination of resistances circuit diagram is uh, similar we know that for series combination the law is r is equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus r4 and so on so what we do is we normally use two or three resistances fix the first one in the right arm calculate its value fix the second one in the right arm say r2 get its value then connect the two in series r1 and r2 in series again measure the resistance r that will be resistance of the combination so you have practical value experimental value of series resistance and mathematically you can add the two values determined above if right hand side and left hand side match the law is verified similarly for parallel uh, resistances determine R, R1 then R2 then connect the two in parallel means here you have R1 between same two terminals we connect R2 parallel to X and then get the value of R for parallel combination verify using this relation the uh, laws stand verified in the uh, experimental value and calculated value come out to be equal you may subscribe to our uh, youtube channel cbsc042 to get notifications about the future uh, videos should you have any feedback you can write to ikg54 at yahoo.co.in visit our blog for other topics in physics Wish you very happy learning. Thanks for being with us and watching the videos. Thank you.